What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Got breaking news. The WBC, We Be Crooks, featuring President Mauricio Suleiman, has ordered Canelo Alvarez versus Abney Uderman for the vacant WBC super middleweight belt. Now, uh, both sides will uh, enter an agreement. If they fail to come to an agreement, it will go to a purse bid. But this is uh, something that uh, is going to upset a lot of fans and make a lot of other fans happy, in particular uh, Canelo Alvarez fans. They're going to be happy that he has a chance to uh, get another belt added on to his uh, collection of belts. Now, the uh, former champion, David Benavidez, didn't lose his belt in the ring. He lost it before the fight as he came in. In before the Angula fight uh, Saturday night that took place Saturday night, he came in uh, for that fight three pounds overweight and was stripped of the belt. And that fight, that belt then became vacated. Only person who had a chance to win that belt uh, was Angola. He didn't win the belt, so now the belt is vacated. Your man was the uh, guy that was scheduled to fight the winner of Benavidez versus Angola. And uh, so he was next in line. And right after that fight between... Um, Benavidez and uh, Angula. Uh, De La Hoya, uh, Golden Boy Promotions, who promote uh, Canelo Alvarez, put in a bid to, uh, to uh, fight for that vacant belt. So did Callum Smith, uh, too, also. The funny thing about it is uh, Canelo Alvarez was not even ranked uh, in the WBC. He was a secondary uh, title holder in the WBA, which was the... Uh, Main title holder was Callum Smith, so Callum Smith was ranked higher than uh he was the he was the number guy on the list behind uh Yudeman. He was ranked right behind uh Yudeman, uh the spot right behind him at number two. So you would think he would have got the uh belt, but politics came into play. Canelo Alvarez is the cash cow boxing. Mauricio Suleiman knows that uh you know a fight involving his organization with Canelo Alvarez will hold much more weight, much more prestige. And it would be, uh, would be worth more to his organization to feature uh, Canelo Alvarez. As you know, they uh, made him franchise champion in, at middleweight uh, when he was uh, supposed to fight um, Jamal Charlo. So he was, he was able to elevate the franchise champion, therefore avoid a, a fight with uh, Jamal Charlo. And here it is, Mauricio Suleiman coming in to save the day again and hook his boy up, Canelo Alvarez, with another title shot, which he really didn't deserve because he's not even ranked in the uh, WBC super middleweight uh, uh, rankings. And if he is, he's sure not ranked higher than Callum Smith, who should have been next in line. But that's called Mexican privilege. You heard of white privilege? This is Mexican privilege. And uh, he got that. He got the uh, title shot. And he is a cash cow boxing. You know, he's on uh, everybody's pound for pound list in the top three with uh, Terrence Bud Crawford and uh, Vasil Lomachenko, so he's going to get his, uh, he's going to get favoritism, he's going to get to cut corners, he's going to be able to uh, jump the line, so to speak, and uh, get a title shot. Now, as far as this matchup goes, Uterman is, uh, to me, he's not deserving to be in this position either. He lost his last fight to Anthony Durrell. It was a close fight, fight that fought on uh, FS1 uh, last year. Uh, he he kind of cut um, Anthony Durrell up in that fight. I think it was due to a, a legal uh, head, but if I'm not mistaken. But the fight was very competitive. I think he lost the fight on a split decision. He had his moments in that fight, but Anthony Durrell was able to kind of uh, have more moments in that fight and uh, outbox him a little bit and stay away from his power shots and uh, enough to uh, win a, a very close uh, fight. But he didn't. Uh, he lost the fight, but then again, he didn't lose the fight because he basically uh, didn't lose his position as he was still uh, able to uh, lock up a, another chance to get the title uh, shot with uh, the winner of Benavidez in uh, Angola and before Benavidez was stripped of his belt when he was overweight in the, at the weigh-in. And uh, he still was able to get the shot. Now that Angula lost, he was able to be next in line. He was going to get the winner either way it go, depending on who it was. Angula, Angula lost, and Benavidez was stripped, so he was uh, able to uh, be able to get the uh, shot at the vacant title, therefore fighting uh, Canelo Alvarez. Now, there's another set in stone about this fight actually taking place because uh, Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy are having problems with the zone. They're having issues with each other. So uh, this fight is not set in stone because they've got they've got some legal or money issues going on with the zone, which is pretty much sidelined uh, Canelo Alvarez's uh, proposed uh, fight to take place September 12th, Michigan Independence Day. That's not going to happen because of the legal issues. He's got going on with the zone. He's he's got issues going on with Golden Boy too. He's got a, he's got uh, problems with his uh, own promoter Golden Boy. And then he's got legal issues with the zone because the zone wants him to take a pay cut, 
uh, he refuses to do so. He says in the contract they must pay him a minimum of 30, I think he got 33 to $35 million per fight minimum. And the zone saying, well, during these pandemic times, we're not going to be able to pay you that. You're going to take a pay cut. Canelo Alvarez said, hell to the now. You know, you signed the contract. Ain't my, the contract didn't say, oh, I got to give you 33, 35 million. But if it's a pandemic, I, I can cut your uh, pay down from 33 to 35 million. That's not in the contract, according to uh, Canelo Alvarez's uh, lawyer. And they're, you know, so they're in a, a legal tussle, a legal uh, tug of war right now. Uh, you know, trying to see what's going to happen with that situation. And we'll find that uh, out in the coming days and coming weeks. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what uh, transpires. Uh, but again, Canelo Alvarez versus Avni Yerdeman has been ordered by the WBC. We be crooks featuring President Mauricio Suleiman in a fight that came out of left field. Nobody pre predicted this. Nobody knew this was going to come into fold. But when David Benavidez went to bed and came in three pounds overweight, he opened that door, and uh, Canelo Alvarez and his team came running through. And now they're sitting at the, in the catbird seat with another chance to win another title and add to their resume and add to their uh, loud, their quiet, but now loud uh, roar saying that they're one of the best to ever do it. So look at what they've done in the sport of boxing. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But let me know what you think in the comment section about Canelo Alvarez, a.k.a. Cinnamon, versus Avni Yurdeman. Who? Avni Yurdeman in a matchup featuring super middleweights as Canelo Alvarez parades and shops and window shops three different divisions, the middleweight division, the super middleweight division, and the light heavyweight division. Next stop, it seems like it's going to be super middleweight division as he uh, is, is lined to, to collect another championship belt, the WBC super middleweight belt. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this matchup. It's, once the matchup is finalized, I'll probably break this fight down, but this is a uh, clear fight that uh, Canelo can win. You're the man to me. It's nothing special. He's a solid guy, pretty good chin, but uh, he's no way that he has the skills of the boxing IQ to be the fighter of uh, Canelo Alvarez's uh, caliber. Only thing he could do is hopefully be the bigger fighter, the much stronger fighter, and maybe try to maul Canelo Alvarez, bang him up against the ropes, which he had success with uh, in the Anthony Derrell fight. He was able to get Anthony Derrell up against the ropes and bang him out at times in that fight. And Anthony Derrell is a much uh, naturally bigger guy than uh, Canelo Alvarez. That's what you the men will be looking to do to Canelo. But as in the Anthony Derrell fight because that he was he's had limited success in doing that he, he did it at time but not enough and he'll have more probably doing that with a fighter of canelo alvarez is who is a much more skilled and much more technical fighter than uh, anthony the real is so we'll see what happens and we'll see what transpires let me know what you think in the comment section canelo alvarez versus avni uniman for the wbc super middleweight championship this is jb sports the man the myth the legend i holla